Hello, it is Qualms visiting again from the Grim Wayside, and I have another box here from Kika Goods. It's a little overstuffed looking right now, so part of it is going to be a small clothing haul. We'll do that in a separate video, but in this one, we're going to focus on the the Nian Nian Strange World Adventure Series action figure BJ, BJD blind box and the uh, accessory package that you could get with the reward points. Um, there's a few mysteries in that accessory package um, that have not been solved by anyone that I have spoken with. So right now the box is pretty overstuffed. I did open it so that I could just check to make sure everything had arrived, but I haven't actually opened the doll boxes yet. So that's what we'll be doing tonight. So, and this is the mystery. This thing came. Uh, it's supposed to be like an ice cream carrying case, and I don't know how it's supposed to work. Um, it has <laughs> these ribbons that are somehow supposed to hold this weird bunny slipper looking thing in here. It's got two little buttonholes on the back, but it doesn't have any holes for these ribbons to attach to. Uh, the pictures make it look like you're supposed to use it upside down, in which case this would definitely fall out. Um, the color scheme isn't a great match. The pinks don't really like gel together. These two little loops, I think, go with the also not really matching uh, carrying strap. So if anybody has any way that this is supposed to work, I would love to know how this little thing doesn't just pop out. And the hole is so big. Like, you feel like your doll would just pop out, especially if the bottom lip is only like a couple inches wide. So, mystery piece that came with the accessory package. Please, someone explain to me. So, let's chunk that to the side. So, I also did a little clothing haul. Um, the things that came with it, and pardon me for trying to drag them out here. So, I did break down, I got the little um, bath like bathing suit set, which came with this adorable little rubber ducky um, floaty thing. I have three pairs of the shoes for the size 112 dolls. I succumbed to how adorable these little dresses were and got, I guess it's this one. Okay. So there are these three different uh, Lolita style outfits. And I had earlier gotten the pink one, um, which I have on the 10,000 Island Escape Plan uh, Angel doll that Kika Goods also released. So this is what the pink dress looks like. It fits her perfectly. Her legs are longer than a lot of the 112 dolls. So on some other dolls, it'll probably go down to their ankles. But I got the green, blue, yellow, and then this really cool sort of gothy looking black and red colorway. Um, they come with little socks, uh, a bonnet, the dress, and the details on them are just so pretty. They each have uh, these roses that match on the bottom. Um, so look forward to seeing a clothing haul where we open these up. Oops. This is the bathing suit set that came with the little uh, floaty. This is the Black Prince set. They're releasing it also in white. Um, it wasn't out at the time when I got the black set, but the white will be coming. This set, I believe is called Wisteria. And so it's just sort of more of a gothy set. This is the red and white version of their zombie set. Okay, so now we can go straight to the Mian Mians. So also part of the accessory set, it was quite um, large. Especially for the price, um, I thought it was very generous. So they come with these wooden block bases, but I think that the dolls already come with them. So I'm not sure with how I went ahead and bought a doll because I didn't have one. Um, but I think the dolls already come with a base. So I don't know why you would need four. I don't even know who those are for. Um, the way that they work is you tie their feet into these little slippers. These might work with like some of the Bon Bon Island ones, uh, you know, like the insect series or the bunny versions, but I don't know if most of the doll's feet would fit. Um, I have these two chemo dolls, 
be uh, gentle with our hairless little fellow over here in these cute little um, school outfits. But clearly their feet are tiny compared to these stands. So I don't know what dolls you would actually use these for. They're shaped more um, like vertically, so they don't actually have room for toes. So that came with the accessory set. It also came with the eyes, which those will be useful, I think. They came in uh, four different colors, red, blue, yellow, and sort of a pinky co or purple color. Um, they're really pretty. They're really pretty. Um, they also come with the eye putty to keep them in. So that was good to have. Came with four different eye colors. And then it came with a whole bunch of stickers. So there's four sets of these stickers in here that have the little dolls themselves. And then they have this group picture. So if you need a bunch of stickers, you want to hand them out for Halloween or something, then they come in the accessory package. Also in the accessory package are these, um, I think they call them uh, night shirts. So there's these little um, puffy pants with a little shirt on top. And then there are these um, onesies with the little red hearts on them and the red bows with the gold trim. And um, so they came with both, lots of puffy pants. So if you needed little puffy pants for your other 112 size dolls, you definitely have them at this point. There's four of those in here as well. And then with the accessory set, uh, they had taped another set of puffy pants on the outside of this box. Um, I don't know if that was like a, another free gift that they meant to send, but I did get one box. Um, and then the other box came with the accessory set. I think there's not really a way to tell which one is in each box, um, but I think this one's much heavier than this one. So if I had to guess, this one is probably the accessory, which was a um, an unclothed doll, no hair, no um, painting or anything, just a, a naked doll. And so I think this one is going to be our actual doll. And I think we'll go ahead and open this one first because I think that'll be the most fun. Let me just clear away all of our friends here inelegantly. Okay, so normally I would get a full set of these, but this time I just got the one because I'm not sure I really am really gelling with them. Like I gelled with the, the Onto Pennies box collaborations, which I think are just the most pretty dolls. And I do love this angel from the um, 1000 Escape Islands set. She's very pretty and very well made. I've really enjoyed playing with her. So let's get right to it. This is gonna be a shorter video. Well, that tear strip didn't work. So just a look at the box before we open it fully. Um, the top has a little paw print on it because these dolls do look like little, um, they're like little dogs, I think. So on this side, we have pictures of some of the dolls on the back. Um, we have them, their names are in English. This, these are the four main dolls that come in the series. And then I believe the little devil dog with the glowing bone is the special or hidden version. And unlike some of the other ones, other companies, it doesn't seem to have any like authenticity sticker on it. Uh, Penny's box, the on two Penny's box ones. And I believe the chemo 12 dolls also had like a little holographic sticker on them to show that they weren't bootlegs, but I don't think this one does. So let's get right to open in. Okay, so I've never opened one of these before. There is some kind of warning card in here, um, but it's entirely in Chinese. I won't be able to read that. I have limited Japanese reading ability, but I, I can't read Chinese at all. So maybe I'll hit that with a Google Translate later. This looks like it, a stringing diagram. Um, so uh, the web address for UF doll is on here. 
And I'm not really sure what this picture is showing me. It's There's an S hook in it, but maybe that'll become more apparent when we actually open up the doll. Um, and then there's some more Chinese writing on the outside. We did get the card picture that goes with this. Uh, this is the Sailor Moon looking doll and her name is, well, you know what? Hers is the only name on the back of this box that hasn't been translated into English. So I might look at the website later on and see if they've translated it, but everyone else has a an English name except for this little Sailor Moon. So we'll just call her the Sailor Doll. Her little outfit is right here. It's very boldly colored. Oh, a bunch of things are falling out of here. So this is definitely a different form factor than I'm used to from almost any of the 112 size dolls. Uh, I believe they're supposed to be 112 size, but she is very chonky. So it comes with um, a covering and then there's a much thinner plastic like bag. This doll is not at all what I was expecting. It's interesting. So she has um, her hair comes in two pieces and there is magnets on the back of her head to keep her the back part of her hair on. I assume that's what it's for. It attaches very securely. So that's interesting. I hadn't seen that before. But the most surprising thing about it is it's flocked. It's actually fuzzy. So it has a cool white to gray gradient on it, but it's very tactile, very fuzzy. In the front, it has um, a fixed, it doesn't move, but she has a little tuft in her hair. Her little bob has this brown bow with a sort of light creamy colored star in the center. There's sort of a strange hole right here in the front, but it may be intentional. I'm not sure what it'd be if it's functional, uh, but it does have a little hole there on the front. So her hair individually So I'm not sure how that actually goes together. I'll just figure it out when I put it back on her. It was holding when I had her uh, the hair on her. So the doll itself um, is quite chonky compared to any of the other dolls, for example. Oops. Against the Angel and next to the Chemo 12 dolls, uh, she has a very large head and a very, like, generous size body the body is the vertically the same size but you can clearly tell like what a different form factor that is i wonder if she's going to fit into any of the other size 12 dolls because you can see how petite the top of this dress is so not probably going to be that versatile or compatible with a lot of your other 112 size doll stuff she does have little separate paw pads on her hands and on her feet so those are a pretty pink. Underneath of that, she has gray blushing, which is a nice detail. It's very like subtle. It goes from like a darker color on her the tips of her hands and then fades up as it moves into her white um, portion of her body. The elbows are separate little peanut pieces. Her string's pretty tight, so should be for okay posability arms are sort of short so you know posability is sort of limited by that on her face she has uh, pretty noticeable blushing on both her cheeks and under her chin which gives her a little bit of dimension and then she has the painted eyelashes which are quite a pretty design the little painted eyebrows and then on her cheek she has a little pink heart her nose is also blush gray like on her feet and on her hands and a visit from our cat again. Her knees, oh man, those are tight. So her knees are also peanut joints, but they are very tight, which I guess is going to help with their her posability um, and her standing. The joint has a channel both to the sides so that you can move them side to side and then the normal channel that goes front to back on her hips. So let's put her hair back on her. And we can move on to 
to the clothing that came with her. There we go. You'll give it a good squeeze. It does seem pretty um, stable when you put it on, but man, is it fuzzy. It's so fuzzy. That's so enjoyable. So the first packet we have here has her fuzzy ears. The one was in a pla additional plastic bag, I guess, to keep it from uh, rubbing up against it. They are fuzzy as well, and they have a gray gradient on them, gray to cream. There are holes on the top of her head that those clearly go into. Very cute. So they sort of rotate back. She is super cute. I'm glad she was one of the ones I wanted. I didn't wasn't really like jazzed with the white colored one that has the little crown on her. Um, the Prince one was also really cute. I wish maybe even a little bit more that I'd gotten the Prince one or the, the hidden one, which was the little devil doll. So in this package, it's got the little furry tail. It's got the same gradient colors as the rest of her. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it goes up. Her, the tail hole uh, has only one orientation. So, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Isn't that cute? Look at that tiny tail. Little baby tail. I don't know how yet, if that's gonna interfere with her clothing. So her eyes are not in her right now. The eyes that they sent are sort of a yellow honey color. They gave us um, a reasonable amount of eye putty to keep them in. So they are uh, really shiny. They are definitely plastic. Uh, but the pattern, the printing on it is very nice. Uh, I don't see any sort of like dots or marks from the printing itself and it almost has like a pearlescent sheen i don't know if that's actually like a some kind of illusion to it but it does have a lovely shininess to it we'll pop her head open again the magnets are pretty forgiving she also has magnets on the inside of her head to keep her head together there's a little paw print in the back that's raised. And then the numbering inside of her head says 6A26. And you can see her uh, S hook in here. I'm gonna turn it. Oh, geez. Yeah, that body, never mind. <laughs> that body uh, elastic is really tight. Oops. I'm sure it'll probably loosen up pretty quickly, but man. Pop these eyes in. It's a little hard to get at with the S hook in there. Maybe I can lift it with the scissors. So the way to take the S the head off is to turn the S hook um, about a 45 degree turn. So her neck does have a silicone piece in it, which would help with the fit and to keep the head from just moving around. That's probably a reasonable idea considering how heavy the doll is and how heavy her head is. Okay, eyeballs. If you have BJDs, this is pretty standard. The putty's a little stiff. Might warm up a little bit in the hands. Just line this baby up. We'll put the, the eye shine to the top and the pupils to the bottom. Oh, how cute is that? It's a really cute color. Of course, with the accessory package, we could always change the colors, no problem. Maybe she would look pretty with the blue. It would go with her little sailor dress. So when you're using the putty, you just want to kind of spread it out. Put it on the back of the eye. Line it up so that she's not all wonky eyed. Unless that's your choice. Okay. 
Who doesn't love Derpy for My Little Pony? Or Muffins. If you don't like the name Derpy. Okay, those are pretty cute. Stay in there pretty well with the putty. So let's put her. Well, you know what? Let's take a look at her clothes. That's next. In case we need to put the head or take the head back off, let's just go ahead and look at the clothes first. So she has a little top and then it's a little short to be a belt. Maybe it's a belt. And then some really cute pants. The outfit reminds me of Sailor Moon. It also kind of reminds me of Rainbow Bright from my childhood. I had a Rainbow Bright, which I loved a lot. So the puffy, her little short pants. The top is elasticated. Um, the sewing is really clean on the cuffs and on the inside. So it's turned up so that the hem is super clean. On the front of the little pants, they have these little shiny plastic yellow hearts. Always the struggle. I'm curious how her tail fits with her pants. And it looks like it has a little hole in the back for her tail. So the waistband is sewn all the way around the outside, but it looks like they did include a little tail hole, which is a nice detail. And totally necessary so these little pants they go down to her about her knees so they have like sort of a skirt uh, look to them as well let me see if I can find the hole again for the tail the struggle is real okay Okay, once you get it in there, it's well spaced for the tail to go through. That is so cute. So cute. Fuzzy tail. Oh, no. Ah, stay. You do have to make sure to pull the pants fully to each side so that it can actually get deep down into that hole. Okay. Great. Let's put the top on. So. Oh, the top, the collar has a little hook and eye to keep it laying flat. That's a nice touch. Um, not necessary for sure since it's in the back, but I appreciate it. The stitching is really nice. It's fully enclosed. So they sewed it inside out and then flipped it. So there aren't any exposed hems or anything on that collar. And the extra ribbon that they use to embellish it. I can't tell if it's sewn or glued. I don't feel any glue, so I think it's sewn down actually. The back is made of that doll Velcro, so it's clear doll Velcro. Looking at the front, it has a little triangle that covers up the space between the sailor collar on the front. That's a nice touch. I appreciate that. The cuffs are much like the bottom of the pants and the collar. There is no exposed hem. Good, good, sim, uh, good detail. The, the bow is very tight, so it's not going to fall apart. I had to sew inevitably all of the bows on the onto Penny's box centaurs. They were just tied, um, and they since they were satin bows, they wanted to come apart immediately. So those I had to sew together, but this bow is very sturdy. It has a little paw print on the front. It's um, sort, of, sort of a cabochon. Yeah, let's put it on her. Uh, it, since it is entirely open in the back, I wouldn't have needed to take off her head. So you don't need to dismantle your doll to put her clothes on. I don't recall how much I spent on her, but I do feel like um, considering the quality of the clothes, I have sort of a ballpark idea. I feel like she's a good value. The one thing I notice is that she doesn't come with a base. So at least one of those four bases is going to be useful for this doll. Um, she doesn't have the base so that those wooden bases that you tie onto their feet would actually be useful in this case. 
and there you go fits real nice let's put her head back on reassemble it so her eyes actually match the bow on her hair which is nice Scissors in there to turn that. It is sturdy. Lift. Okay, there we go. It was just super tight. So, got that. The eyes did not move while I did that. So that's good. Press everything in right there. And we put the back of her head on. It's interesting. Uh, the back of the head ends up being a separate piece. So you could use, you could swap the hair from the other dolls. Um, so it's interesting that it's a full doll even without the little hair piece that comes with it. Okay. What do we think you are? Uh, are you a bracelet? I don't think it's a belt. It doesn't go all the way around, so it's not a belt. Straighten out her shirt there. Even though her top is quite small, there's really not room for it with the bow that's on her neck. Looking at the box, I don't see it on the box either. So we have a mystery piece. Yeah, just going to have to be a mystery on that one. Maybe it was a collar, but you really can't see her neck that well in there. Uh, it might limit her mobility some. So I wouldn't use that probably on her neck. And the final accessory that she comes with is a little sword. The sword is just plain white plastic, but it does have a lot of details on it. So if you ended up wanting to paint it yourself, then it would be quite cute. She doesn't have any way of actually holding the sword. Her hands, and she didn't come with any extra hands. Her hands have no ability to grip it. So I guess it's just a cute detail you can stick on the base next to her. Yeah, so cute. Uh, Sailor Moon doesn't have a sword, but you know, maybe you can figure it out, make it work. So that was everything that actually came in her box. But let us open the accessory box and see what we have inside of there. So this should be a plain doll. that was part of the accessory package. Okay, so what we got in this accessory box, uh, the same Chinese language card, the same uh, stringing guide. She does have a base that comes with um, the little shoes that tie in. She came with green eyes. Those are pretty. Oops. She came with a blank tail. Okay, so the plain doll isn't furry in any place, but her tail maybe, it looks like it might be flawed. No, her tail doesn't have any fur on it either. So yeah, the, the it's basically the same doll in the way that it's constructed, but it doesn't have any painting or blushing on it. She does have the teeniest, tiniest indent where her nose goes. Uh, her eyes, they're paid to be exactly the same shape as the actual clothes doll. There's not much of a difference. So instead of like having, these look like separate pink, little pads on her hands. They have plain white ones. These might be glued on. They look pretty raised. She has the same little feet, the same back, same home, same uh, magnets on the back of her head. 
It's definitely a doll that's difficult to find hair for. I suppose you could use some air dry clay and make your own, but they don't sell hair by itself. So even if you blushed her, um, she also doesn't have any ears because those ears do stick into the hair piece itself. So she is missing her ears. She's missing the hair. And I'm not sure what you can do with the hair unless you're stealing it from another doll. That's possible. You want to get another doll and steal her hair. So be it. Um, but I think that's it. I'm going to try and figure out where this goes. Maybe it's a little sword belt for all I know. Maybe it goes around her hand and holds the sword for her. I don't think so. Could be though. I'm going to figure out a better way to keep her tail in. Maybe we paint the sword. But that is the both the Mian Mian doll, the little Sailor Moon one that doesn't have an English name on the box, and the accessory set that came with the naked doll. So that's it for this video. Uh, look forward to that clothing haul at some point in the future. Um, I think in the mail we have the special edition of the centaurs that has a much fuller set of clothing. That doll is in the mail right now. It's sort of a bluesy gray version of the one that's sort of blue and pink with the long uh, hair in the back. So we'll, we'll take a look at that one when it finally comes in. And I don't think I have any other orders out for Kika goods right now. I think this is pretty much it. So at some point in the future, we'll do the clothing haul. We'll take a look at how it looks on a couple of the other sizes of dolls. Maybe we'll even try and stick one of these dolls into it. I don't think we'll have much success. And I think that's why they sent us a whole bunch of other clothing to go with her. Those little um, like night shirts with the red buttons on them. Yeah, so that's it for this particular video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment. We'll try and interact with those comments. Have a good night.